This morning I've pulled out a couple pieces of uh, rosewood I've saved for a while to make back for a guitar. I left it sit on a shelf unclamped or stickered and they've warped on me. See that? This is pretty common too, you know, if you don't sticker your wood or you get some of the fancier woods, having that kind of twirly grain makes it want to warp. That makes it harder to join the edges to get a good seam, but not impossible. Here's how you do it. Okay, we're gonna tame this wood. We're gonna set it on this nice flat piece of MDF. It's real solid. And I'm gonna hang a little bit of rosewood over the edge, because I'm gonna put a secondary board on top of this with a nice straight edge on it. This is a piece of poplar. And I'm gonna clamp that down with maybe a sixteenth of an inch hanging over, because I'm gonna run my ball bearing router along this and trim it. That's gonna give me a pretty good joint right there. Then I can improve it with sandpaper. So that's a pretty smooth edge right there off the router bit and I've taped it together at the ends to kind of keep it lined up as I go to the next operation, which is back on my work board. This time I'm going to clamp it with a couple of boards. Really get it flat. Right up close to the edge. And now I'm going to sand it with a known flat edge which is my dad's old carpenter's level. I have used this for years to do this type of job. I'm gonna use 120 grit stick it paper. And this can shoot right along this board. And I'll check that again. It's invisible. <laughs> it's perfect. Now to clamp it. So here's how I go about gluing this up. Some more scrap plywood. It's going to raise me up to a height that I want. That's going to hold my big MDF board up off the table and you'll see why. Wax paper. I'm going to put some glue on one edge. I'm using tight bond. You could use any glue you want, really. I've done it with high glue, epoxy. Wax paper. I've got a chunk of maple that's for making a guitar neck. I'm going to use that as a little weight on here. Only I'm not going to clamp too tight yet because I want to be able to squeeze these pieces together. Get a pipe clamp out here. We'll come right down on the edge of this rosewood. Squeeze it together a little bit. Grab a couple more clamps here to hold this board down here. Most of this wood was not cut up for this job. It's the stuff I have. Now I can apply some pressure on this without worry about buckling it. Clamp that down, keep it flat, and that's it. Give me an hour or two hours, we'll unclamp it and see what we have. So it's been almost two hours. That's plenty of time for the tight bond to dry. So now for the fun part. The nice thing about this is since it's glued now, those two kind of warpy edges will help keep each other flat. Yeah way flatter than it was. That little bit of squiggle is going to come right out with the braces because it's holding itself in that shape. This one's down and that one's up. And now I'm going to thickness sand it. I'm going to use my 10 inch jet thickness sander. Which it's not wide enough for the back, but I can run it two different directions. That's a nice joint. It was pretty simple to do too on a pretty warped piece of wood. Now I'm gonna put a couple braces on this just to keep it in a perfect shape. That's it. I started with a piece of wood that was untamable, I thought, and now I'm making a guitar out of it. <laughs>